What's up fam, this your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. Young Dog Killer Shondell Barnett and CEO TZ are still on the run from the police and now I have questions that I need an answer to. Question number one, where are these guys hiding at? Question number two, who's hiding them? Because to be able to evade police for weeks at a time, you're gonna need some outside help. You're gonna need some guys housing you and you're gonna need some people giving you money. So it's clear as day that these two guys have financial support from people and these guys have people willing to risk their freedom to house them. Cause we all know what happened when a broke average criminal goes on a run. We see it every day on First 48. A guy would take somebody life, he goes on a run for two days, now the police are looking for him, and what always end up happening? The guy always ended up being found at his granny house hiding in the laundry room under some dirty clothes. Let's just be real, I'm just being honest. So it's clear that these two guys have people helping them, meaning they're gonna be more arrests. Now we talked about these two guys being together, now let's separate them. Let's focus on CEO TZ first. He's supposed to be an OG, shot caller, gang leader. So it's not beyond the possibility that he has people willing to risk their freedom to help him. Hey, hide TZ here. Let's hide TZ there. Let's take TZ out of town. All that is true. So I can see him having people willing to go to the bat for him. Now let's talk about Shondell Barnett. This the guy who confuses me. You was in custody for the Young Dolph case. They accidentally let you out and now you're on the run and now you vanish without a trace. I find that suspect. I think you might still be in custody. I think you might be in PC. I'm just being real. I think the law enforcement is trying to cover their own tracks so they telling the public that they release you. Cause to be honest, I know Memphis police is incompetent. It don't even seem like they're looking for you. You're a murder suspect in a high profile case. I want more posters. I want more coverage. I want the money to be there, the reward money to be higher. It doesn't seem like they have any sense of urgency. Yeah, they want the public to find Shondell Barnett. It don't seem like they kicking down doors looking for him. And I'm going to just be honest about this whole case. I know exactly where these two guys are hiding at. I know exactly where the police can find them. And I'm going to tell you guys, because I look at this case like this. What if Cut to the Chase TV was on the run from the police? What would I do? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I do. I find the dirtiest, the funkiest, the roach infested, the bed bug infested motel. Not a hotel, I'm going to a motel where the crackheads be, where the clucks be. If it ain't a crackhead outside my door every time I exit and enter my hotel room, that's not a good place to hide. Cause I look at it like this. If I'm on the run for the police, my face is all on the news. It's a high profile case. Bloggers are blogging about me. Every time I open up YouTube, my name is in a title. I'm going to a motel, not a hotel, because think about it. Motels usually be in downtrodden areas. No surveillance cameras. They don't even take ID for you to get a room. You're amongst the lower society. Nobody cares about the crackheads, the dope fiends. You're around all those people. Can't go to a hotel because hotels got a lobby. They got surveillance cameras, and that's too high profile for you. And you got the reward money on your head, so you don't want to be around other competent people. You want to be a monster incompetent. So I'm going to a motel. I'm just being real. $30 a night, I'm going to the low of the low. Because you can't be in the run trying to live in the lap of luxury. You don't get that no more. You're on the run from the police, so now you have to live like it. So yeah, I think these two guys is at some type of motel across town, maybe in another city, but I don't think these two guys are together. But trust me, these two guys will eventually get caught because the money will eventually dry up and they will have no choice but to turn themselves in. You can't run forever and everybody's that helping them, giving them money, supplying housing for them, they will be caught as well. It wouldn't surprise me if it was 15 to 20 people arrested for this young Dolph hit when it's all said and done. Because these two guys are just dragging everybody along with them. The more people that help you, the higher number of arrests there will be. Now, in other news, Straight Drop was supposed to have a court appearance today. He was supposed to get sentenced for that fed case, you know, failing to register as an offender after he took the lady cookie, but it was postponed to April. So he was supposed to go to the feds today, 
but he will remain in Shelby County for a whole nother month until he gets squared away. So that's the update on Straight Drop. But anyway, guys, this is your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, share this video, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about this video. I love you guys. Peace.